brothers and sisters in Christ, I just want to tell you what happened to me yesterday in morning, and I had, I've got word for all of you and for your family and for your friends, and please share this with whoever, whoever you go, wherever you go, whatever you do, share this, because time is running out. Uh, while we were praying yesterday morning, or while we were worshipping in church, I sent a thing out last week where a woman, uh, where God showed her how people are worshipping Him, where, where she could see their thoughts, and not one of their thoughts or their mind was on Christ, but it was all on their own things. And I said, Holy Spirit, I want you to take my thoughts, take it into captive. I don't want to, I want to concentrate only on God. And as, it, as I said that, and I was praying it, and I said, God, I only want to concentrate on you. And suddenly I was gone. The Holy Spirit took me and I was in a place where I had so much peace. And as I was standing there, I saw Jesus on the cloud and the angels were standing around him. And they all had their shofars by their mouth, ready to blow it. And I was crying. I said, Jesus, what are you doing? And he says, I'm on my way. I am coming. I am coming. Time is over. And I said, Lord, but you can't. The people are not ready yet. What, what's going to happen to my brothers and sisters? What's going to happen with, with, with my neighbors? What's going to happen? And he said to me, look at your watch. And I look at my watch. And it was blank. It was completely blank. There's no numbers on it. It was blank. And he says, time has passed. Time is over. There's no more time. My mercy has ended. And I was crying and said, Lord, no, you can't. And I, I saw myself running to my car to get my cell phone and to look on my cell phone. But it's blank. There's no time. It's blank. There's a time of no time. And it's scary people because there's lots of people that's not ready yet. And I got, I snapped out of it and I was crying and, and I was just explaining to my wife what just happened. And as we got in the car, her father phoned and he, he was hysterical. And he says, son, put the phone on speaker. And I said, dad, but it is on speaker. He says, I had a dream. God showed me a dream last night. And I said, what is it? Because it sounds like my dad is it's on his final end. He says, son, God showed me a watch, and he showed me there's no time on the watch. And I ran to get my watch, and there's no time on it. And I asked your mom for the time, and there was no time on her watch. And I said, God, what does it mean? And he says, my time is finished. I am coming. We, he was grabbing the people by their necks and throw them into the church and says, repent now or forever run in hell. And people just laughing at him, and, and they, they think he's a joke. People, this is real. God showed me this, and I must say, since I've been coming to this church, God is showing and revealing things to me in big ways, in small ways. But God said, don't keep quiet. Tell the people, I am coming, the time is over. Please get it out there, spread it, because people, if you know somebody that's not ready, get them ready, because the time is over. Thank you.